Hi viewers, welcome to Handy Dandy Husband. Previously, I created a quick tip video showing you how to install IKEA's Tiskin Shower Caddy Suction Cups. It appears my instructions worked very well as one viewer, BitMHD, asks, I stuck it on in the wrong place. How do I remove and reapply, please? Today, I will show you three ways to remove the suction cups so that you can reposition your shower caddy. Stay tuned. Here are the tools that you might need. The first tool that you will need, really, are strong fingertips. Now, as long as you have short fingernails, you should be able to pry it off with your fingertips. And I'll show you that technique first. Second technique is to use what I have here is a paper folder. If you can see here, the very tip, and I'll focus that for you, is narrowed. And the great thing with this, this tool is that it won't mar the silicone and you can gently pry it up to uh, release the suction that is holding it in place. But this is a specialized tool, so you might not have this. The alternative would be to use this uh, butter knife. And you, I would use this blunt edge. And the process that I would use is either apply some baby powder to the blunt edge so that it allows the butter knife to smoothly get into the um, area between the suction cup and the tile or alternatively use some silicone paste but do not use any oil mineral oil or vegetable oil because they will deteriorate the silicone now I have finally a rag and this rag is to clean the baby powder off the silicone cups once they're off the tiles and with in combination with the isopropyl alcohol and the rag will clean the cups and then let the isopropyl alcohol dry off or evaporate and then we'll reposition it clean the tiles with the isopropyl alcohol make sure we polish it like we like I mentioned in my earlier video and then stick them back in place. Let's begin. The first step is to release the caddy from the suction hooks and that's just pulling it up and they'll come right out. Put that aside. And the first technique is just use your fingers, place them really close to the edge of the silicone that's holding on to the tiles and peel off. Of course, if you have long nails, that might not work for you. So the second technique is to use the paper folder and place it in between the ridge between the tile and the suction cup itself. Now, sometimes if it's really tight, you might need some baby powder but I find that normally it just comes off straight off. Okay, now I, you saw me remove it. Now I'm just going to reapply it and use the third technique. Now, the third technique involves using a butter knife. But because this is pretty sharp, I'm going to use some silicone paste or some baby powder. I'm going to go with the baby powder for now because this is more common in people's washroom. Just going to put some on the tip. Rub it gently and it's just going to get, give it a nice sort of smooth coating. And I then use this, place it in between the silicone and lift up. There you go. Now you see this is a very fragile or vulnerable area for the silicone so you don't want to mar this or cut it and that's why I put the baby powder on to the butter knife. To reapply 
just watch my other video, but what you would need to do is the area that you contaminated with the baby powder, you would need to make sure that that's cleaned off with some isopropyl alcohol and a rag and let it dry so it doesn't swell uh, the silicone. And once it's evaporated, you can clean the tiles where the silicone cups will be adhering, place them on, push them in, and they'll stick just as well. Please leave a like if this technique helps you. Thanks for watching. See you next time.